Hey there YouTuber. So I wanted to talk to you about purchasing used monitors on eBay and specifically ones that have some kind of damage, bad pixels, uh, lines in them. You know, they're usually listed as the parts are not working. So I have bought a uh, couple of those on there and you can really get some great deals, right? If you can handle looking at the damaged screen, um, if you can just deal with it or if the damage is in just the right spot that it's not really a, a headache or it's minimal, uh, you know, you might want to consider picking one of these up, especially if you need a, a big monitor. Now, something like this one, you know, for a lot of stuff like, uh, let's say, Windows 10 and below, this screen, you know, is probably uh, usable for a lot of stuff, right? It's huge screen. These are 3440 by 1440. And with Windows 10, you know, the start and everything's over here. So you could actually use this quite well for a lot of uh, stuff due to the, uh, the size of it. Now gaming, you know, this might uh, cause some headaches in here with this, this section here uh, that's missing. However, most likely this spot in the screen is not really going to be too big a problem inside of gaming menus. So it might be, uh, you know, doable um, for some of you. Of course, a monitor like this is, what, $400, $500 or more. Uh, so that isn't such a great thing. And you can find all kinds of these things on here. Here's another one. This is even bigger uh, eyesore, I believe. Now there are things that are that can go wrong, you know. Ah, you can get it, and it's like, oh, this looks pretty good, this area, and the next thing you know, folks, it it could wig out on you, such as uh, something that happened to me. I bought one very similar to uh, this one that we just looked at, and it started uh, wigging out. Of course, I only paid seventy bucks for it, and that includes shipping. So, some aspects, it was a pretty good deal. Now. A monitor like this, you're just not going to be happy buying something like that, most likely, right? That big old blotch is right down the middle. Uh, yeah, you might be able to use this as a uh, split screen where you're working on one thing over here, one thing over here. But for gaming, this would just be terrible, especially if you're playing Fortnite and your crosshairs are somewhere in this mess. So these are, you know, in a lot of aspects... Really expensive monitors, priced somewhat cheap, uh, maybe not that cheap for, for what you're getting. But uh, these are, you know, that worst case scenario. Now we are actually looking at a monitor that I picked up for $28 uh, plus shipping, which I don't remember what it came out to, but uh, ended up well under $100. Now, if you notice... There is uh, some screen issues there, right? But uh, this thing's, you know, been honestly pretty playable. This is, uh, what, 1080 by 2560. And um, I use this every day, folks. Um, yeah, that, that, you know, almost looks like when you're looking at it here that it's part of the background image. Uh, obviously, if we were to pull up uh, something like PowerPoint... Oops, looks like my license expired. Um, you'll see, you know, some issues there. But uh, this is, you know, something that, for me, because I needed a screen resolution, it, it turned out to not be that bad, all right? Now, gaming-wise, you know, I don't even, this doesn't even come into play for me because I'm, I'm so into this section. Now, obviously, if all this crap was right here, really in the middle, it would be more of a problem. I, I feel like I got a really good deal on this monitor. So, if these monitors don't work out for you, they are ridiculously big. Um, just so you know, in case you're not used to a 34-inch. This was the Dell that I was telling you had the, uh, the screwed up uh, screen that was far worse than the LG that we just looked at underneath it. Still, um, still able to, you know, use it enough that I'm going to keep it around. And at the worst, you know, since I paid, I think I paid 70 bucks for it. At some point, we could probably sell the, uh, the stand, uh, the power supply and get some of that money back. 
And just for a comparison, there is a 43 inch 4K TV. That's my, my personal favorite right there. That's the 120 hertz 4K. All right, let's go look at another monitor. So this monitor here, folks, I had purchased for $70 as well. And the reason I actually purchased this one is because I thought it was 240 hertz. I was like, oh. And this has, and you probably can't even see it, it has a uh, blue line going across here that is, uh, depending on the angle you're sitting, you probably won't even notice it. It's, it's a, honestly, was an amazing deal. This is an Acer monitor, 144 hertz. And actually over here, barely see it. There's, so there's a couple of places on the screen that aren't perfect, but uh, when you're gaming and stuff, you don't notice it. You know, that stuff all, all the way out on the peripheral is not really an issue. And uh, all the menus that you're using, you can see. So I definitely think that this was a, a winner. Now, it turned out this was 144 hertz and not 240. Um, but, you know, for a 25-inch gaming monitor, uh, not a bad deal. But, hey, that's going to wrap it up, folks. You just got to be careful with uh, your, your menus and things like that. Um, and, and just dealing with how much screen damage you can handle. Me, I have a higher tolerance, I guess, than some people. So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.